guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and today we're talking about some big flashlights. Uh, you know, we try to implement flashlights into our everyday carry every single day, but they're usually small, single cell, maybe a dual cell, you know, CR123 or AA. But I think one category of light that is really missed in a lot of people's preps are big flashlights. Because um, they serve a purpose that just small flashlights don't. And you know, they kind of reminisce some of the old, you know, D cell mag lights. I know, and and yes, there are some of you guys that still have those out there, um, you know, pushing all 60 lumens out of that D cell. But um, but you know, today's age, the amount of light that we are getting out of smaller, lighter still big flashlights is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to kind of run through a couple of the ones that I have, how I use them, how they integrate into my preps, where I store them, and just, you know, the function of them. Uh, because I think once you start figuring out that, you know, how a big light works and what different tasks you can do with it, it really opens up and broadens uh, your ability to, to be more secure and, uh, you know, and have a lot of advantages when it gets dark. So um, starting down here, you guys are probably like, what the heck is that? Uh, this was a light that the company 4.7s, who is no longer in business made, this was the XM18. Uh, this has 18 1,000 lumen uh, individual LEDs in it. And uh, this was really geared towards uh, government use and military use and it has this cool hexagon shape. And what it was really made for was you could take pretty much an infinite number of these and it has holes on all the sides and you could bolt them together. So you could like mount this just by itself on the top of a Humvee, or you could put like 10 of them together and, and literally make like a spotlight for airplanes and stuff. So super cool. Uh, I've had it for, for quite a long time. It has 18, uh, 18 650 batteries in it. It's heavy, it's a beast, um, but it's an absolute wall of light. And uh, I don't use it that much, uh, but it's just one of those things that I, I kind of keep around. Um, and then next is is a light that I really fell in love with last year. Uh, this is the Olight XR, uh, X7R, the Marauder. Nine, 9,000 lumens out of this guy. Uh, is absolutely amazing. I would say a, uh, a Coke can size uh, flashlight that, you know, it's just 9,000 lumens. Um, it has a, on the back of it, it has a USB-C plug-in, so you could plug it into like a power bank. That's why I really gravitated towards this one. Um, the R is, is the rechargeable one. So if you're looking for these, make sure you get the R if you want the rechargeable. But it's all water sealed, USB-C plug. So it made it really easy and really fast charging also. But you know, one thing with these two lights here is they have very shallow reflectors. Um, so you get this really wide, just massive wall of light. Um, it doesn't penetrate that far into the distance, but you get just a, a huge field of view. Um, and that's what we're gonna start to talk about, you know, with regards to purpose and what you're gonna wanna be doing with these. So if you're just looking at something like walking around neighborhoods, things like that, you know, a light like this is, is really good because it casts a real wide beam. You can see all the way across, you know, from side to side of roads. Um, and you know, it's just a ton of light if you need it. But if you're talking about a real open space that you're trying to see, hey, is there you know, four-legged predators uh, you know, that are getting my chickens or my cows or something like that, um, these aren't gonna shine as bright because of those shallow reflectors and, um, and just a couple other aspects with regards to like the, uh, the reflectors are orange peeled instead of a real shiny, real smooth. Um, so it's just made to really break up those light particles and get them real nice and wide. So, you know, it all depends on, on what use you're looking for, but I really like these for kind of around the house situations. And what I really like about the, uh, the X7R is the low mode on it is fantastic. It runs for days. So, you know, a, a great option there. And then we're gonna get into my, my three favorite flashlights. Uh, the first one is a Surefire uh, M3LT. This thing I bought, I don't know, I've, I've had a couple of them, probably 10 if not more years ago. And this was, this is absolutely, I think my favorite light design of all time. Takes three CR123 batteries. Um, I've even talked to people at Surefire. I'm like, can you please redesign this light, modernize it? 
uh, make it carry a couple 18650s because I love this light as a search light, a task light. It's only, I think, five, 600 lumens, uh, but the way that they have the reflector in the inside shaped and the lens and everything on it, this thing is, is just a light, it's just a laser beam. It just throws light. Um, but what I always loved about this light was I use this for walking the dog at night, things like that, because it had it was really easy to hold on to. It's really big. It's bigger than my hand, but it's still thin. So it's not like I'm trying to you know grab this this big beer can and I can't do anything else with my hand. Um, this thing's really small. It's like holding a regular EDC flashlight. It's just got a really big head on it. And uh, and what I loved about it was the fact that if I ever had to, it's a very uh, easy tool that can become a self-defense weapon. It's kind of shaped like a mallet or a hammer. And uh, you know, it really gives you that ability if you had to utilize it to, to defend yourself. Uh, if you know, a four-legged creature came after you, anything like that, kind of have something with you at all times if you didn't have you know, a CCW or anything else on you. So it made it a real good multi-purpose light. This light has actually been on my nightstand for years. Uh, I took it off today just to show you guys, but this is what I always reach for. You know, pretty much anything times there's a bump in the night. Um, this is the light I'm going to. Has a really nice activation switch or a constant on if I want to twist the tail cap. So then we're going to talk about the big dog in the Surefire lineup. This is the UDR uh, Dominator. This thing is, it's, it's massive. It is just massive. You can fill it with their rechargeable cell, or you can fill it with CR123s if you just want to spend money like crazy. It is rechargeable through a 12 volt uh, plug, so you can plug it into your car. It has a selector ring, so you can, you can choose what mode you want to be out on. But just one massive reflector, one massive LED, and this thing just throws a laser beam for hundreds and hundreds of yards. And it's one of those things where it's only, uh, 2,000 lumens, 2,500, right around there, 2,000, 2,500, where you take like this light, the O light is 9,000 lumens. But after about 200 yards or so, max, uh, the, the X7R really starts to tap out as far as getting a, a beam that you could identify an object with, where I have lit uh, steel targets at six and 700 yards with this Dominator. This thing sits in my truck, it's in my door, in my console. It's in my truck every single day. And uh, the reason why I carry it is because number one, battery life is pretty freaking awesome on it. Uh, number two, it's rechargeable. I can plug it in. I have the cigarette adapter uh, in my truck so I can make sure it's always charged. And number three, if I ever had to find myself in a, in a search and rescue situation, anything like that, um, I know that I would have light that could penetrate well past uh, what a normal like EDC light could do and I could really search at. And, and it's a difference between, I think I see something out there and being able to positively identify what it is. Um, and that could be the difference between life and death if you're talking you know, in a search and rescue kind of situation. What I also love about it is it's just, you know, like all Surefire products, beefy, rugged, uh, made to be abused. And you know, just the modes that it has on it, I can turn it way down if I need to, you know, or I can crank it up if I just need. And, and it's one of those things where once again, you know, I could use this thing as a battering ram pretty much. It's so big. Um, but as far as a search and rescue light, that's why I keep it in my vehicle at all times. Also, if I was to break down, didn't have cell phone service, I know that I could signal people from a long ways away. So if you know my car died and the lights went out on it, I know that I have a beam that I can shine, you know, seven, eight hundred yards and people can see, or if I, you know, drove off of, of a side of a road or something like that, it could really help with signaling for help that, that a regular EDC light just can't do. Um, are they expensive? Yes, these, these lights are expensive. Uh, the, the M3LT, I don't even think they make it anymore. You can still find some here and there. They're still hundreds of dollars, even though it's kind of outdated technology. Uh, the UDRs are expensive, but I think they're worth every single penny. Um, so, you know, these are the two that I've really gravitated towards until last month. Uh, last month, Olight sent us the brand new Olight Javelin Pro. And at first I was like, uh, 
it's just not gonna, it's just not what I want. It's not what I want it to be. Because like I said, my favorite light for so many years as far as big lights was the M3 LT. And I started comparing the two and I realized these are very similar, um, but still different. And every single thing that I wish Surefire put into the new light that I wish they would design, it's almost like Olight has already done it. It has awesome features in it. We'll start with, first of all, it has the same, same design, but it has a side switch also that you can use with your thumb. Uh, makes it really nice for navigating. If you're just like walking your dog, you don't have to bring your hand all the way to the back and hold it. You can just hold it normal and you have a nice little activation uh, rubberized you know, light switch for just those kind of, what I would say daily tasks, you know? The other thing, they made a ginormous, huge, deep reflector. Uh, Olight says this thing shines out to 1,080 yards or meters. Um, I would say it's close to that. I, I would give it definitely seven, 800 yard range, definitely. Um, but it's in a smaller form factor than the UDR. So, you know, I get almost the same amount of distance in a beam uh, in a much smaller package. They still packed in 2,100 lumens in this thing, which is pretty amazing. It has really nice texturing. The, the handle kind of has a, a, a tapered, so it's flat on this side and then it kind of tapers on this side, which gives it a real nice grip. It's hard to rip out of your hand, um, but it gives it a real nice grip. And, and it's not sharp by any means. Um, so they did a really good job at, at using correct angles and correct positions to really give it a good ergonomic feel, but with tons of grip. Still has a, uh, an, an activation switch on the back of it. And it's actually a, if you just tap it real quick, you can tap it soft and you get the low mode as you see, or you can go a deeper press and get high mode, which hello. Um, so you can hold it down and as soon as you release it, it turns off or you can just tap it and keep it on low mode or tap it deep and keep it on high mode. So dual activation tail switch cap, which, which I really like. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to because it's not a definitive like snap or, or click between the low and the high mode. But once you get used to it, it's really nice. So two ways of activating the light on the tail cap and on the main head of the body with your thumb. So super nice. Now what's powering this thing? Uh, it's a proprietary, uh, they're saying proprietary, uh, it's two 18650s in here. So the handle, that's why the handle is, is a little bit longer than the M3 LT because this has three CR123s, this pretty much has the equivalent of four, um, which is a, another upgrade that I, would, that I would put into the M3 LT, would be just, hey, let me be able to slap 18650s in here. Um, but the way that Olight has this, I'll take it apart for you real quick, is take the head off, Real nice, O-ring sealed, everything's O-ring sealed, uh, waterproof, all that good stuff. Take the tail cap off, which also has an O-ring. But within the handle, actually, it keeps all of the battery electronics with regards to charging and, and the batteries themselves. I asked Olight, hey, can I just throw different 18650s in here? And they said, no, um, I haven't tested it yet, but trust me, I will, I will be testing that. So, um, but as you can see, all the batteries are, are held within the handle. Um, so, so that's kind of disassembly assembly, um, but just an awesome light. And you know, for the last month, Olight sent this to me to do some T&E on it. Um, and I love it. I love it. Um, it's an awesome light. The only thing I wish it had that their Seeker 2 or the Seeker Pro have, I wish you could like double tap. If you double tap the thumb switch, double tap, triple taps, they don't do anything. Uh, you just got to hold it down and then it turns it on low and then you can toggle through the modes. So I wish that it just had like a quick double tap or a quick triple tap to get to turbo or, or strobe or something like that. Um, that's the only feature that I think they, they didn't transfer from other lights into the Javelit Pro. Comes in two colors, this kind of cool uh, bronze color. I wouldn't really call it FDE, it's more of a burnt bronze. I think it looks really, really nice, but it's a, it's a flat finish. Uh, or you can get it in black also. So, you know, the, the, the uh, typical O light, you know, blue crenulated bezel that you see on most of all their lights. Um, and then on the switch also, if you do tap it, it goes green. 
uh, which means that it's above 75%, and then it goes to orange, and then it goes to red, and then it goes flashing red, letting you know where your battery indicator is, uh, where your batteries are, so that's the indicator on it. But, you know, like I said, I've had this thing for a month. Uh, I've been using it quite a bit at night. And it's simple things like walking the dog and things like that, you know. Um, I live near a golf course, so I go on there and I really try to see how far this thing actually, you know, casts light. And, and I've been amazed by it every single time. Uh, does it replace my UDR? It's getting pretty close. I mean, I love the fact that this thing is just massive, you know, if I ever had to, to use it in a self-defense situation. But the, the lumens... The candela, this thing has over 21,000 candela. Uh, if you don't know the difference between lumen and candela, look it up. It's a big thing and I think it's overlooked quite a bit, um, but it has over 21,000 candela. It's rechargeable. And uh, man, I think, I th I think Olight hit it out of the park with this one. Um, you know, I, like I would take this light all day over the X7R. Uh, this is just, this is just the form factor that I love. Um, it's lighter. It's lighter weight. You can fit it in a bag very easy, have tons of light. All right, so let's talk about the modes in the Javelit Pro. On high, like I already said, it's 2100 lumens. And then you can drop it down to 600 lumens and then drop it down again to 150 and then drop it down again to 15. And that 15 is what I'm really coming to love. As you can see it there, um, it just, you know, it's, an, it's enough task light. Man, it's great inside the house. And on this mode, it will run for eight consecutive days. So if you're talking, you know, we got storm season coming up. This is something that you know you're gonna have light. For most people, you know you're gonna have a light that works nonstop for the duration until power gets done. Usually power is back on unless it's something you know horrific, it's back on within a week. And that's eight days leaving it on consistent. So, you know, if you're only using it half that time, you're looking at 16 or 20 days, you know, of really utilizing the batteries correctly. Um, so those are the different modes that it has, four different modes. I love the low mode. Um, you know, there's even lights like this to make it even more versatile. I wish they would put like a one lumen, like moonlight mode in just because it adds more functionality to it. But the fact that it has four modes, um, no strobe, no beacon, none of that stuff, just four straight solid light modes. So let's talk about the beam a little bit. What you're gonna get is with this super smooth, deep uh, cone reflector is just a very hot spot with very little spill. So you're gonna get that just laser beam just tunnel light effect coming out of this thing. And it's something that I think has a huge purpose. Now, you're talking like EDC lights. I have a Surefire Stiletto. I love the fact that this has a very broad and wide beam on it because I'm usually utilizing it in up close tasks where I don't just want a hot spot that gives me white spots in my eyes as soon as I look at it. But when you're talking about something like a large flashlight, man, I want this thing to reach as far as possible and have a really defined hot spot so that I can identify whatever it is I'm focusing it at. So, you know, like I said, guys, I, um, you know, I, I love Olight flashlights. I like the direction um, that they're even pushing the whole sector of flashlights into. And I think this flashlight is a home run. Um, it does have some other features if you wanted to go that route. Uh, you could put a pick rail mount on this thing and round it, mount it on a rifle. If you, if you want to carry, you know, go old school instead of a mag light, run one of these on a rifle, you, you could. Um, it has a tail switch that you can put on it as well to utilize a, 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 tail, a, a thumb switch, a uh, tape switch on it if, if you wanted to. Um, guys, I can't say enough positive things about this. Um, you know, if I had to have one critique on it, I wish it just had some more functionality on a thumb switch up top. That's about all I've found so far. Um, so, you know, we'll keep beating this thing over the next couple of months and see what it does. Now that we've talked about all the features, let me tell you what Olight has going on for the next couple of days. They are running a 30% off special on this light. Now the uh, Desert Tan one that I'm holding here is a limited edition, so if you want one of these, you better hop on it fast. But you can get this light uh, with the 30% off code on their website, the links below, for 139 bucks. For an extra six bucks, you can get the Olight bundle kit, which we'll show you here, includes a ton of cool accessories to make sure this thing can fit into any system that you want it to. So 139 bucks, I think is a ridiculous deal for this light. Um, 
listen, Olight sent me this light to do some T and E on it. I'm passing on the savings to you guys. Um, you know, if this isn't your cup of tea, we also, you know, they were gracious enough to give Survival Dispatch a 10% off coupon on everything on their website. So we'll leave that link below also if you're looking for smaller EDC lights. Um, but guys, I would say this light is as close to perfect as I have seen on the market for this size light. So go check it out, click the link below, save 30%, do yourself a favor, save 30%, get it? It's a fantastic bargain and at that price, it's even more fantastic. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you got any other questions with regards to large flashlights, be sure to leave them below in the comments. And until next time, be safe. <music>